Vanessa Di Bailey is een 18-jarige danser wat spog met meer as 200 trofees. Kom, laat ons praat. Cassidy, van hoeveel jaar oud af was jij in een rolstoel? When I was born, my mom found out that I was was a disability. Cassidy was geboren die 18 november 2004. Ik heb deze serie gehad met haar. In wat de lava uit mijn hal toe het al een niveau op mijn borsten zette. The gynecologist came to me and he said to me, "Esmeralda, sorry to let you know, but." Your baby is born with spina bifida and hydrocephalus, but it's myelomeningal cell. So I said, thank you for what you gave me. She's alive. It was a challenging time for us since Cassidy's birth until now. Since birth until six months, she had six operations. 2011 was also a tough year for us because she had eight brain operations where she was for eight days in a coma last year, December. She also was again in hospital. She had a stomach operation. She had two brain operations. And Cassidy is 18 now, and she had 62 operations. What was your experience in your growth work years? It was challenging. I had to fit in. I had to adapt to the world out there, and to make friends was very difficult. So I had to adapt to their life and to my life. Hoe het het nou gebeur dat jy vandag a danser is? So I started at the age of seven. I watched it on TV and then I asked my mom like, can I do that? Because I was so like surprised how people in wheelchairs can actually dance. Wat was jou reaksie to Cassidy vir jou vir die eerste keer gesê het, ek wil dans? It was a, a skok for me and my word was gewis aan haar, Cassidy, mom is very dumb, I don't know where to go. And I worked at Pick and Bike Constantia, so a lady in the daughter in a wheelchair came, and her daughter is cerebral palsy. And then she asked me, what is your daughter's hobbies? So I said, do you know, um, Cassidy saw dancing on TV, and she asked me, mommy, can you go inquire where I can do it? She said to me, Esmeralda, we giving classes on a Sunday, and we went, and then Cassidy was practicing a little, and then unfortunately she got sick, and with a high fever and everything, and from there we had to rush her to Vincent Bellotti. They checked her out, and they did temperatures and everything. I had to have an operation done, so that time it was tough, but now I'm fine, I'm healthy, so now I'm a actual Dancer. Bjorn is your dance partner. Who did you meet? So myself and Bjorn is dancing for about seven, eight months now. We are actually a good partnership together. So the first time me and Cassidy started dancing together was at a competition and we didn't want to dance with each other. We were two people in two different worlds, not because of the wheelchair, let's put it like it's not because of the wheelchair, it was because of a powerhouse with someone who's a gentle soul. We didn't want to combine, so we had people that forced us just for the fun of it. And then once we actually did it, we became a packet of dynamite. Once we put on that floor, the music plays, and that's our ignition, and we're on fire. We make jokes about anything and <laughs> anything and everything. We do fight, but not as much. Like, he understands where the part, where the arms should go, where the, and he understands where my circumstances are. Who is it to make a differently able person to dance? To be honest with you, there's no difference. It's all your mindset at the end of the day. If you want to treat a person like a normal person, they will treat you back like a normal person. And dancing is our escape at the end of the day. With Cassidy, I'm more freelanced because it's a higher section. And to be honest, I was always kept down. I was always told, you're not ready for the section. And then when I was Cassidy, and I'm now I'm ready. What is your kinstelling dance style? The samba. So it's the Latin section. Borum is a bit subtle, but Latin is more out there and you can be yourself. So the samba is the more outgoing dance. The reason why I like doing Latin with Cassidy is because it's more, more of my comfort zone. Latin is not about everyone thinks of just with your hips and that. It's all about disciplining your steps. And at the end of the day, with Cassidy, anything is possible. What the challenges did you ervaar as a dancer? I had to figure out moves for my personal style and for my personal preference because 
the moves that they make is the moves I can't make. And then I had to sort of figure out a way to re-choreograph that moves so that I can do it better. Cassidy in the kamer, I bedoel, I can't even tell how many trophies there are. So tell me about them. I've been dancing, as I said, at the age of seven. So all these trophies are from seven up from now, which I'm 18. So I danced for like 14, 15 years or 11 years, I think. Oh, I can't count. Uh, uh. My math is eight. <laughs> My brain is more for that. <laughs> what is your trots to look what Cassidy betreft? Say that Western Province colors has South African colors for dancing. Say that Western Province champs in a South African champs for her dancing. Say it 2018, 2019, and 2022. Het sy ook die ramp in die jungle in Sunset gewen. En um, sy doen sports per die school ook. Sy doen disco shot per die javelin. Sy het daar uh, in Western Province colors vir dit ook. We went to Durban for the dancing. We went to Palakwani for the dancing. We went to um, Sunset for the dancing. And maybe, God willing, 2025, we might go to um, Netherlands, Amsterdam. That is just how she makes me proud to go see places yeah. that I never saw. Going overseas will be a highlight for Latin. And there's one competition that's in the Netherlands that we would love to go compete. The Netherlands has a wide variety of wheelchair Latin and da boredom dancers. So they have dancers from all over the world, China, Russia, everywhere. That all that countries come together and dance in this big competition in the Netherlands, which happens every year in Easter. So that's a huge accomplishment for me to know that a South African wheelchair dancer is going to the Netherlands to fulfill a dream. You praat van Matriek and you is 18 years old. What is your plan in our school? So after school, I am going to study at UCT for performing arts, and then I'm going to go work as a choreographer.